Hey everybody, welcome to a tutorial video on how to install NVE. We are gonna get right into it right now. So the first thing that you wanna do is go in your web browser, Google Chrome, whatever you're using, go to uh, patreon.com slash raise mods. This is where you buy the NVE subscription. I will not be giving out any links or anything like that to NVE or anything like that. I think you should support the creator of the NVE. All you have to do is give a dollar to raised and you know, you get a good graphic mod. Just go ahead and select the membership level. Obviously, depending on how much you want to donate, you'll get NVE either way, but I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is download WinRAR. This is very important. You want to be able to open your NVE files with WinRAR. So make sure you download that link. Every All the links to everything, every website, everything you need is in the description. So make sure you're following along and make sure you're downloading everything you need to download. So if you can see in the middle of my screen, it won't look like this for you. It'll probably say NVE pack or something like that, like a new version. I actually have an older version and a newer version of NVE. So uh, obviously we'll be using the newer version. As you can see, it would be a zip folder like this, unless you're on like Windows 10 or something. I'm using Windows 11. Uh, so you would actually right click this and uh, you will actually see WinRAR after you downloaded it. You will open with WinRAR. Once that open, you'll see it like this. You can probably just window it, size it the way you need to size it. I have it sized like this so I can open up my file explorer and add the files over properly the way I want it to. Uh, so you'll see it look like this. It would say optional add-ons, main package, ENB. Uh, you would open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. If you don't know how to do that, you would go to Steam. Here in Steam, you can see all the games I have. I would click on Grand Theft Auto. I would right click on Grand Theft Auto and I would go to uh, Properties right here. And that will open up this little window right here. You will go to Local Files. and Local Files, you see here, it would actually tell you the uh, where the location is and you would actually click Browse. Once you click Browse, it would actually take you straight to your uh, Grand Theft Auto directory. Uh, once you have that open, I recommend, uh, like it, it would be open over here. So I would recommend, uh, pinning to quick access. It would say pin to quick access and you can do that. And you can always access your GTA five, uh, main directory. So that's actually a pretty good hack for, you know, PC players, to, uh, that play on GTA or anything where they need to access their files. I also have the same thing for 5M application data. We'll get to that later. And, uh, here's the files to NVE and here's the directory. So the first thing we want to do is go to ENB required. As you can see, it is required. So you want to click on that. Don't go dragging any folder in here. Do, do not do that. You want to go into the preset. These are presets. So you got the low settings preset. That's the that's the one that pretty much works for any PC. Uh, mostly low end PCs though. Um, medium settings preset. That's something that's recommended by the NVE creator. So it's pretty much on a PC that can handle it. Uh, so if you got one of those mixed up PCs, maybe RTX or like a, like a newer generation type, then you can definitely handle it. And if you're running on like a beast, a tank of a PC, definitely go to ultra settings preset. So right now we're going to use the medium settings preset, which is the one that's recommended. We're going to click into it and we're going to highlight all these, everything, not the top one, but you know, everything that has a name on it. And we're going to drag it right over to the Grand Theft Auto main directory. And it's going to do that. You can see everything that's highlighted that we've been added. All right. So the next step, uh, which is probably the fun part, you would go to main package, uh, go into mods. You can see all these right here. Don't add anything. Don't add anything. Yeah, I see you. I see you. You're a little hype. You're a little hype there. You're a little hype. So you want to go to your 5M application data. If you're not sure how to do that, go to your Windows button or hit the Windows button. Um, type in 5M and then you want to right click on 5M and open file location that will open your file location right here as you can see let me actually uh go down a little bit you want to open up your fi uh, file location again right here on the 5m logo and it'll actually show you a 5m application data you want to click into that and that will lead you here and you would also you know pin to quick access like i said before uh i'll probably do another tutorial on that as well if you guys want it but yeah uh, so in this 5M application data, you want you will see mods, a mods folder. You want to click into that mods folder. Uh, and this is where you will add all the RPF files, which is basically the optional add-ons and the actual mods for NVE. So the ones that you want to add that's required pretty much for, like, for NVE to actually look good is the main file. So it's basically NVE, uh, NVE models and textures, models and textures too, and the car codes. So you want to add all four of these right into here is probably going to take a minute 
um, you know, to extract everything and stuff like that and get into your folders. Pretty big file. Um, but yeah, once that finished, then we you can add the other optional add ons. I mean, those are pretty much still optional. It's not really required. So as you can see, it just added in. Uh, so we will go back on here. Uh, optional add ons and then we will add whatever we want. So uh, if you want more car engine smoke, you'll go into it. And once you see that little that little icon on the side, you'd be like, OK, this is the RPF file. I will add that right over. If you want brighter emergency lights, you will go into that. Uh, there's an old version and new version. Uh, I probably recommend the new version just because. Uh, so, yeah, you add that right over. And, you know, if you want to even do enhanced motion blur, go ahead. You know, it, it really doesn't matter. I, my PC can pretty much handle it. I'm, hey, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I just worked on my FPS, so I can handle pretty much anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to install NVE. You know, I hope that you all understood that in the best way possible. We're going to go into game right now on the new server that I'm checking out. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and see how the graphic mod looks. All right, guys, as you can see, we are in game right now. Um, pretty much getting 38, 39, 40 FPS. Um, and that's only because obviously I'm using the medium preset. Sometimes I use the low and sometimes I actually lower down my settings too. You know, as you can see, it's, uh, if I go to the settings right here in the graphics, it's pretty much using a lot of my memory, the, uh, extended texture budget part and the, uh, very high texture quality. You definitely want to lower that, especially using a graphic model like NBE. You want to have it on high or normal. So yeah. Uh, usually I get more FPS than this, obviously, but as you can see, the street lights, everything just looks beautiful. Uh, usually in the evening time, nighttime, and all that good stuff, it looks really, really good and realistic. Um, but in the daytime, it can get a little bright, so you know, brace yourself. But uh, yeah, so far, it, it really looks amazing. This is NVE for you, as you can see, it's nighttime, you know, the moon shadow, everything is pretty much good, you know, just a little showcase for you, but um. Yeah, that's pretty much it though uh yeah and then you got a little bit of motion blur it's pretty much the motion blur kind of mess with it but um realistically you wouldn't really have that motion blur on there so um you know without motion blurs you can see it would probably be like a really good mod but uh yeah that's pretty much it though you know we're out here in Polito bay it looks good uh obviously if you guys want more videos uh based off of this uh just let me know in the comment section below Definitely drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this because I am the 5M GTA graphic mod whiz. Look, guys. Look, it's my name. My name is on the building. Wilson. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, definitely let me know. Join the Discord below if you're not already in it. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.